Okay, for those statisticians out there and the extroverts that need to see what the FUKIT tour was all about, we're going to paint it out for you on a day-to-day -day basis. We're in London. You already know. We're there filming for a whole week. We did a week in London. Filmed a sick video, stacked up clips, and then on the back end of that, straight into a shop stop. Show some face do a little bit of time on the road. Which I thought there was like five, but it turns out that Fu Man scheduled nine shop stops all in a row. We just shop stopped all over this country. First things first, we've got to get out of the Airbnb. Day one, our main man Gary comes through and picks us up. My first yeah. time overseas. This is my first time ever going on a shop stop tour. This is the first time I've done a shop signing or anything similar to. I came onto this trip hurt so I can like half ass ride, which is the worst position to be in because nobody thinks you're actually hurt. We packed our stuff up. We went to the Olympic Stadium because Gary thought it'd be a cool thing for us to see. Austin paid 50 bucks to go down a slide. And they wouldn't even let him bring his camera on it. That's all he wanted to do. He had to use a GoPro that he had to spend extra money to use. We chilled out. We slept on the grass, took a nice nap, found some AC. It was so fucking hot that day. Somehow in England, it was like 90 degrees. It was about 23 degrees, dude. 23 degrees? Are you high, yeah, Gary? It was a little bit hotter than that, Gary. Gary, it's higher than 23 degrees right 24 now. 24 degrees right now. Celsius. Celsius. Don't fuck oh. with us, Americans. It's, it's degrees. Like 80 degrees out. Yeah, degrees Celsius. Well, Fahrenheit, that's what, about 90. The first stop was Volt. I love that shop. I've been there a handful of times. I love John Dye. He's the funniest motherfucker. I'm in a bicycle union. Dope shop. No, it's literally like coming up where that blue thing's hanging down. Ah! Oh, I'm hitting that fucking Salvation. I had a dope Salvation Army next to it. Uh, oh, a couple sick ass. <gasps> mug that had the queen on it. Going into the, the first stop, I had no idea what, what to expect. It was a really good turnout, actually. The whole sidewalk was full of kids, and we got to be rowdy, and they wanted us to be rowdy, so good vibes. Bunch of kids out on the street of London, just like some random street full of kids. Just pulled up, Volt BMX, check out the shop. Super dope, full of fit and S&M shit. Shop, stop, one of fucking 200 or something. Here we fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What's this? He filming, you filming, him filming, him filming. We're all filming, me filming. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, you're complete. Hold on, let me get the bed. Two of us. We announced that we're doing a raffle. So, pretty much every stop, we're having people fill out these raffle tickets, we put them in a box, their name and number. I'm gonna pick a random one. Call the winner at the very end. Yeah, this fucker's gonna call him up and be like, Yo, you wanna what? Like, yeah, I'm gonna call him on my American ass phone. He's gonna say 714, and then I can know what happens. My man, I'm Yeah, dude. A lot of people are saying, like, Damn, it's so weird that I'm talking to you right now. And I'm like, Yeah, it's fucking super weird for me, too. I wanted to meet BMX's Russell Brand. I wanted to meet my favorite BMX slash model. Which I'm just seeing here. Yeah, Did you hear that? That's my boy. What is this? Well, let me see that thing. Let's keep it here with Bill Clinton. His favorite BMX rider slash model. Let me see you are. Me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you're the only one. BMX I'm slash model. BMX slash model slash, slash vlogger. What a pleasure. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Let me say hello. Hello, man. Called the F log. Yeah, it's hard work. Coolest flyers. Who created these teams? Wow, that's pretty good, Tommy. It sucks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kids whipping their legs out and asking me to draw on their leg, and I have no artistic ability whatsoever. I continue to draw things on these these kids' legs that they should not get tattooed, and uh, they definitely got it tattooed. In typical Austin fashion, convince some kid to let him ride his motorcycle. 
jumped on there, takes off on the wrong side of the road. He forgot that people drive the other way in England, so he almost got smoked by a car after like two minutes. He's gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> Facts. But 100% getting hit by a car. It was pretty sketch. That happened. Oh, oh shit. Dude, let's go for a ride. Let me get on the back of you, man. Let's do it, baby. Hands up. Every time we go to a shop, kids always expect us to go to the skate park and ride. We would always happily oblige. It looked like they want us to do something for them, so we're gonna go ahead and try and show them a good time. After we were done at the shop, we pedaled down to Cliff's Old Skate Park. Pedaled over to some skate park. Pretty sick little outdoor park. It was pretty much just like two bowls. Not too many people actually rode at that park. I dropped in twice. I think we tried to do a higher contest, but nobody really participated. Don't hit me. And we chilled out. There was a sick sunset that day. We all kind of hung out in the grass. That was the first stop in London. We hopped back in the van. From there, we headed to Bristol. Made our way down to stay the night in Bristol, ready for the crucial BMX jam the next day. 